We are going to tie dye today. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. In today's video, I thought I would bring you along as Aubrey and I try tie dyeing t-shirts for the very first time. I honestly can't remember ever a time where I've tie dyed and I've been meaning to for so long. And we had the opportunity to work with a company that sells tie dye kits. So in this video, I will be reviewing the kit and showing you guys our little interactions as well. So let's just jump into it. So to prepare for this video, I first had to make sure to go pick up some white shirts from the store. I went to Walmart and just picked up a long sleeve shirt for Aubrey and a men's short sleeve shirt for me. Um, I ended up getting like a 2XL, I think, because I'm pregnant and because my belly needs a little bit more space and I wasn't going to be getting like a maternity shirt to tie dye. So I just went with something really big and comfy and both of these fit us perfectly. So to start, we have our little tie dye kit. Everything that you need really comes in here except some water. So they give you these little baggies for you to put your t-shirts in. They have little plastic gloves and each of those packs it was two gloves and then a tablecloth to keep your surfaces clear and two aprons as well as a whole bunch of rubber bands, a spray bottle and a little funnel to put the powder, these colored powders, into their corresponding little bottles. And I really like how they provide the colors there. They also give you some instructions and then on the back it gives you some ideas for how you can tie dye and the way to do it based on the end result that you are looking for. I was kind of surprised that all of this stuff actually fit in that box but um, I really like the options of all the colors that they have and each of these packets is enough to fill up one of the bottles. So for me I ended up using about three colors for Aubrey's t-shirt and I think six for my adult sized t-shirt. These are the three colors that I chose for Aubrey and I wanted to keep them kind of more, I guess, neutral slash boy colors because I know that eventually Jack will be wearing this shirt and I think Aubrey can pull off these colors just perfectly fine as well. So I wanted to make sure the shirt will last a while. One thing I should add is I probably should have worn the apron while I was doing the stage, as well as put a tablecloth on this table, just because some of the powder did kind of pour out um, or kind of like trinkle off and land on the table and I had to wipe it up with a wet towel. And obviously then the dye was kind of activated. So make sure you are protecting your surface it ended up not being a big deal. Nothing was stained on the table. So it wasn't a big deal, but it is something to consider if your work environment is a little bit different. Then I really like the design where you had like horizontal um, little segments of the colors. And so the way that you create that look is to kind of accordion fold your t-shirt lengthwise, or you could do it horizontal as well if you want these stripes to be vertical. And then you just place the rubber bands spaced out however you like um, and in however many segments you are looking for. I originally wanted to match Aubrey if there was going to be enough of just one color and so I folded my shirt the same way. I ended up using different colors on mine because these three bottles were just enough to color Aubrey's shirt. The bottles where the tie-dye goes in were very clearly labeled and made it very easy to get everything set up for this tie-dyeing process. Then I went outside, prepared the table with a little table cover, and used a Dollar Tree kitty litter box as well as a cooling rack 
to prepare our little tie-dye area. I got everything set up before Aubrey came out just because I didn't want to have to be stressing <laughs> with her um, trying to get all set up. Made sure to put on my apron, get our gloves ready on Aubrey's attention was like already like, ooh, what are we gonna do? I'm so excited. So there she is walking behind me there. And then she was just so happy to participate in this. The aprons and the gloves were way too big for her. So I managed to, you know, make it fit. And the gloves, it was just kind of, I guess, more to help her feel a little bit more involved. Uh, they were obviously way too big for her hands and it took me even some work to get everything dyed. So it might be better for older kids, but Aubrey definitely enjoyed herself. Here's what we're gonna do. We need to put on gloves on your tiny hands. Okay. You want that dark color first? Okay. okay. I sprayed it into this one. You want to spray it into that one? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's take it off. Take the lid off. All right. You want this one? Mm -hmm. Okay, can you hold mommy's hand? Mm -hmm. He's jumping, mommy. Yeah. Okay, this hold on. One. All right. And then that means we're going to do this end in the same color. Can you do real big? Yeah. Do you like your gloves? Mm -hmm. All right, so I used up all of this color in two little spots, but there's some extra on the bottom, so I'm gonna dab it up just to get the most of it. I'm trying not to get any other portion with this color. Okay, watch out. Yeah, now we're going to do that color. Now, which which one do you want to do that color? Which which white section? This one. That one? Okay. Which means that we're going to do it here, too. What color is this? Blue. Blue. Is it a pretty blue? Yes. And is it a light blue or a dark blue? A white blue. A oh, light blue, good job. Dark color. That one's dark, yeah. I like this blue. What do you think of this blue? I like that. You like mommy too. Yeah. Alrighty, we have one color left, Aubrey. And what color is this one gonna be? Uh uh, mommy. It's gonna be say matcha green. Matcha green. Good job. All right. Looks more brown than I was expecting, but let's see what it looks like. Kind of like an army green, like daddy. Yeah. You want to squeeze it? Okay. Give me your hand. Whoa. Look at that. Yeah. What do you think, Aubrey? It's colorful? Mm -hmm. done, Mommy. You're all done? I'm taking my gloves. You want to take off your gloves? Okay. So now that we're done, Mommy's going to take this and we're going to put it in a Ziploc baggie. Okay, and it's going to keep it safe. And we're going to check on this in six to eight hours. Say six to eight hours. Okay, mommy's gonna go prepare mommy's colors and do mommy's shirt. Deal? Okay, mommy. Okay. So after we were done dyeing Aubrey's shirt, she went off and played and I continued with mine. I tried to pick some like purples and blues and I didn't know exactly how they would turn out. After seeing the final product, I probably would have put the sky blue maybe towards the middle of the shirt, but you know, it turned out okay. 
I really tried to go in and make sure everything got some color, but as you will see in the final results, there are definitely patches where there is white and I think it turned out pretty good. Another thing to note is I think the fabric of my t-shirt, because it wasn't like 100% cotton, it didn't seem to fully absorb as quickly as I was anticipating, but um, it ended up working out. After the shirts were dyed, we put them in the plastic bags that were provided and let them sit for six to eight hours. And then it was time to rinse off as much of the excess dye as possible before throwing this in the wash and dryer. Juan helped me with the stage because I really didn't want to be leaning over a sink. My lower back has been killing me in this pregnancy. So it was a major help because he was standing over the sink for a while washing these shirts. But this is Aubrey's shirt. I'm really loving how it's turning out. I love that there's like a good mixture of white and colored parts and overall I'm just I really like her little shirt on her. Then he did the same thing with mine. He removed the rubber bands and started rinsing. This one took forever. I don't know if it was like this original kind of maroon color, but it took a very long time to get out all the excess dye until the water was almost clear. Then at this point, we decided, okay, we're all done. We'll let the washer take care of the rest. And we are just gonna throw this in the washer, run it for a cycle, and then toss it in the dryer and see the final result. Oh. So here we are trying to get a thumbnail photo. Aubrey's being silly. I love her little eyes and she looks so cute in her shirt. The one thing that ended up being weird about her shirt was on her left sleeve. It didn't get dyed as much as everything else. So that's the one weird quirk of her shirt, but it ended up working out and it fits her perfectly. And that's it. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to give this product a try yourself, I'll try to put all the information down below in the description box. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you guys are new. I would love to have you stick around and enjoy all of my motherhood content and I'll catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.